Holy smokes, I am so excited about this new update. I really feel like this is kind of almost like adding a little Pinterest area into Facebook. Like Facebook is trying to create a sort of Pinterest like experience. I don't know how far they're going to take this, but it's really cool. So I noticed, okay, so I was editing my collection down here on the bottom. You see this one called Dream Travel. Um, I noticed if you'll see on the upper right next to add more, there was the little like two heads there kind of like uh, when you are sharing like to friends or custom and I clicked on it and I was like, wait, what is happening here? So now I can create a collection that the public can see. This is a game changer. That means I can create a collection of items on Facebook and share that entire collection with somebody, right? So let me back out of here and show you exactly how to access this. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the upper right hand corner to the menu, see those three lines. You are going to go up there and you're gonna click on that and that's gonna open up sort of your control panel, okay? So this is kind of like your Facebook control panel here. And on the, on the right hand side, and this is an Android phone, so this may look different on iPhone. Um, and also different various, you know, Androids even can look a little bit different. So um, what this, is, what you're looking for is where it says saved and the bookmark. See where I have it highlighted there? So you're gonna click on that. Now these are my saved collections. So I'm gonna show you how you can save an item to your collection just when you're scrolling around um, Facebook. So these are a few of my, coll my collections that I've kind of just been making, right? So if I go into Dream Travel Collection, so I'm gonna see this one right here, I'm gonna click on that, and these are some that I had added. So my family and I were gonna be going to Laguna Beach in a couple weeks, so I was kind of looking for some stuff um, regarding Laguna Beach. I noticed, again, here, where, see where right there it says, um, the it's kind of like the two bodies or two torsos or <laughs> two heads or whatever, right? And that usually indicates friends. And I was like, what is happening here? So I clicked on it and sure enough, it opened this up. Who can see this collection? So now I have the option, okay? Now I can set it as private. I can set it as contributors. Check this out. I can invite people to add to this collection. You guys, this is crazy. This means that if you are maybe going on a family vacation with cousins and aunts and uncles, right? You can create a collection and you can all add to it, okay? So if you have a vacation location that you are going to, you could have, you know, everybody add like their favorite restaurants that they wanna go check out, sightseeing, all that sort of stuff, right? If you're thinking of it in terms of business, you could have a collection of top Facebook tips and allow everybody that is a contributor to this collection. Maybe you have, if you have a team, right? You have all the leaders on your team be able to add to top tips on Facebook. And that way you can share that link and I'll show you that in a second. You can share that link with your team and then they can always have a ton of resources just by going to this. Like you guys, seriously, I hope that your brain is absolutely exploding with ideas right now. Then you can also switch it to friends. So this is kind of like when you make a post on Facebook and it's friends only. So only your friends, anybody who's on your friends list would be able to see this collection. And then the most exciting one, public. You can have the public see your collection. So. If you sell products, you can create collections of the different products you sell, right? You could create a, almost like a party-like situation with, um, with collections, okay? And then instead of having to create an event or a group, let's say you just wanted to do a quick little pop-up party, your friend says, hey, I'd like to earn some rewards or I'd like to share your stuff with my friends. Perfect, here's a link to a party collection right? If you are launching new items, you can have a collection for your new items so that way people can see it in one shot, right? So they don't have to dig through, you know, your profile to find the information. They can just click on the link to the collection and see it. So again, I hope your brain is just exploding with ideas on ways to use this. So um, I'm going to go back. So I have it set to public and then up in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on save. Okay, so now my collection is public. Now where those heads were is now an arrow. So if I click on that arrow, it gives me the options here on the bottom. I can share it to my newsfeed. I can send it in Messenger or I can copy the link. Whoa, 
How freaking cool is that? So now my link is copied and I can post it wherever I want to. I can post it on my personal profile. I can post it in a group. I can post it in a party. I can post it on my business page. I can post it on Instagram. I can post it in a blog, in an email. Oh my gosh, the sky's the limit. It's a link, you guys. It's a link. Links can be posted anywhere. So the only thing that, the only thing with these links is that they're kind of ugly. I'm going to, I'm going to be honest. The links are a little ugly because it's like the facebook.com slash all these numbers and letters and then the name and all the stuff, right? So it's kind of an ugly link. So if you were going to get serious with this, you're probably going to want to use bit.ly or Google links or something to tidy up that link a little bit. That's the only caveat. And you know, who knows this may change. This is a brand new feature. So this could change. Um, so then those upper right hand, uh, I'm sorry, on the upper right hand where you see these three dots. Okay. So if you click on that, now you can rearrange the items. You can see who's following the collection. You can manage the privacy. You can edit the collection name or cover photo. How cool. So let's click on edit. So I'll show you what that looks like. And I called it dream travel, but you could call it whatever you want. Bucket list, travel locations, places I want to go. Then if you click on this pen right here, that's on the picture, it's going to open up all of the posts. Okay. So these are the posts that I have saved to this collection. So you can pick one. Okay. So you can pick one to be the cover photo. How cool is that? And if you want to create a custom cover photo, you're simply just going to create a post on Facebook with the cover photo that you would like to have. And you're just going to create a post saying, Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful location or whatever or whatever, you know, obviously this is travel, so I'm gonna say location, right? But whatever, create a post, save it, and then save it to the collection, and then you can use that as your cover photo. So you can actually create a custom cover photo for your collection. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Okay, so I'm gonna click on done. So now I have this collection with all this travel stuff in it. I can share it. It's now public. So now when I share the link, it is going to be viewable by anybody. Now I did go look around Facebook and I don't see a place on my profile um, where I can see the boards. Okay. So I, I, I don't know if Facebook, I mean, I would, pr I'm going to kind of throw a prediction out there. I think they will eventually um, put a place on our profile where we can display boards kind of like you can display boards on Pinterest Well, actually, I'm sorry on Facebook. They're called collections on Pinterest. They're called boards, right? So I'm imagining that Facebook eventually will allow us to add our collections to our profile um, That I don't see a place for it yet. I scoured the profile to see if there was any place to add it yet. I don't see it. So I must, I would imagine that they're going to do that because usually when they make an update, it's because they plan on really focusing on that. Right? So again, you, and the cool thing is, is the link only people can currently only see these if you give them the link, right? So if you have a, um, if you have a, a collection that is pertaining only to people in your business or your team, right? Then, you can share the link directly in the group and that way only the people in the group are going to get that link. Now, if they share that link outside the group somewhere, there is that. Okay. So if you make it, um, if you make it public, people can grab the link and share it other places. So just keep that in mind, but it still limits it a little bit. You know what I mean? Because you can decide where you're going to put what link. So you can create different collections for different things. Whew, I am so excited about this, you guys. I can't believe Facebook is actually putting a little, a little taste of Pinterest into the platform. How exciting is that? I think it's really, really fun. Um, and this is just going to give you guys an additional way to get creative with this and use it for your business. Okay. So again, you can use it to create stuff for your team. You can use it to create albums of your products. Um, to be able to share all over the place. I mean, it's just, it's just absolutely crazy. Um, and then you can also, you know, still keep some of your, your collections just to, for you to see, right? Like, so I'm working on studying ads and creating ads. So I have, um, an ads folder. So that's something I'm going to keep for myself, right? Like I don't need the public to see what ads I'm looking at. Right. So I'm going to keep that public. Um, and the only one I'm going to, have, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to keep that private. And then the one that I'm going to have public is the dream travel, right? Cause that's fun. And people might get some, get some inspiration. And also I had another idea too, when I was going through this, um, 
You could create, in fact, let's do this now so we can see it from scratch. If you see the word collections here and then over to the right of that, it says create in blue. Let's create a new collection. Guess what you can do, you guys? You can create your own manifestation vision board, okay? If you wanna call it a vision board or manifestation board or whatever you wanna do. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm going to um, make this only me for now. Actually, this is something you could have done with your collections a long time ago, but I don't know why. It just struck me this morning as, <laughs> as being able to do this. And then if you want to share this with other people, you absolutely can. But look, you can create a vision board. Sorry, I forgot to put the word board on there. Okay, and I'm gonna click create. Okay, so now I have, see this uh, little birdie here with the yellow background? That's kind of the default board um, or the default like cover photo for the board if you don't have anything in it. So I'm gonna click on the vision board, okay? And open that up. Now see, it's completely empty. So I need to add items, okay? So I'm gonna add items. I'm gonna search for, let's see, um, I want to add to um, a vision board a beautiful home, okay? So actually, let me put house. In the search feature in here, you have to be pretty general. I've It didn't really do very well when I was being very specific looking for things. Um, so there we go. Well, we, there's houses for sale. So these really aren't like my dream houses. <laughs> Um, actually, maybe I should put estate. Maybe that would be a better word, right? Estate. Let's try estate. See if that comes up with a gorgeous house. Okay, so not really seeing any houses. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Look at that house. Okay, I'm going to save that. And you'll notice all you have to do is this little bookmark thing. Click that. Now, usually when I click the bookmark, it'll pop up on the bottom and it'll say, this has been saved to your um, to your collection. It didn't say that. So I have noticed this is a little buggy. I think just because it's a new feature, they're probably you know still working on it. I'm just gonna find something to add. Okay, so I'm trying to add these. I don't know if it's adding it and just not saying it. Okay, let me go back to the board, to the collection. Uh oh, sorry. Um, let me go back to the vision board. Okay, so it did not save those to the vision board. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna search Facebook and I wanna add to my vision board an Aston Martin. I don't know if I'm even spelling this right, I think so. <laughs> I'm gonna look up an Aston Martin. I've always thought that would be such a cool thing to have an old Aston Martin. Okay, so I am clicking on this bookmark. It's supposed to add it to the board. It was earlier um, when I was testing this out and now it's not doing that. Okay, so probably it'll, it's probably just a glitch that I'm, I'm finding right now, but you see that little bookmark? You can go and quickly click on that and it will add. If I open up the post, I may be able to save it to the collection. And this is how you can do it. Oh no, it actually opened up a it actually opened up a link. Okay. Oh, see, it does. It says links right here. Videos, pages, photos. This is what I wanted. Photos. Okay. So see at the top here, I'm moving it. You can actually click on what you want to see. So for making a vision board, you actually want to do photos. So I'm going to click on photos. Boom. Now I can see some gorgeous Aston Martins. And I kind of want to find like an older, more vintage one. Oh, there we go. So I'm gonna click on that. Now see how, there we go. Now that was saved to my vision board, perfect. Let me see if I can find any other vintage Aston Martin. That one's a cute one too. I will add that one, perfect. So now I'm gonna go back to the search and I'm just going to put, um, I'm gonna put maybe beach home. And I'm going to click on photos again because I wanna add photos. So I just wanna look at it. It's a vision board, right? And I am going to just go ahead and click on a couple of these. Ooh, that's a pretty one. And that's in California, my state. Okay, so now I've got a couple of beach homes. And then let's um, say I want to also have lots of money on my vision board. Oops, get out of there. Search, go to photos. I just want a picture of some cash. I'm sure if I searched hard, far, hard enough, I could find one. I don't know if anybody's gonna have a picture of some some cash on here. Um, okay, I'm not seeing any pictures of cash. 
So let me put, oops, money, see what comes up here. Again, I'm gonna go to photos. Do I have any pictures? I can't believe it. Why, are, what, nobody posts a single picture of money on Facebook ever? That's crazy. All right, well, I'll have to take a picture of some money and post it on Facebook so we have some money we can add to our vision board. <laughs> okay, so um, here's money as a, as like a, <laughs> look at this page. I'm cracking up. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, there's some money. So I can save that to my vision board. Okay, I saved that money page. Um, and making money, I can save that to my vision board. Okay, so now we've got a few things on our vision board. I'm gonna go back and exit out of all of these. So it keeps track of everything that you've been searching for. Okay, here we go. So now on my vision board, I've got all these cool things and it's gonna suggest things. It's like, look at more for this collection. I don't know what that has to do with my vision board or what I'm trying to do here, but um, it's trying to show me some different things, okay? So I can always add more to my vision board and then I have this cool collection of things that I would love to have in my life, right? So anytime you get bored or you're like needing some inspiration, you can go check out your vision board here, your vision board collection, okay? So that's a fun little thing you can do. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to add things to your collection as you're going around Facebook because that's what's probably going to happen. That's probably how you're going to add things to your collection. Most likely is you are going to be going around Facebook and you're going to see something and you're going to go, oh, that would be perfect for my dream vacations board or oh, that'd be perfect for my goats and pajamas board. <laughs> I may have to collect, I may have to create a goat board. I love goats. Okay. So, um, on the left here on the left arrow, um, I'm going to click that. We're gonna go back out into regular Facebook land, okay? Now, here is my regular Facebook newsfeed. I'm just gonna look for something um, that I can save. There's an ad, there's a question. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. Do, do, do. Okay, so this is a friend of mine, Katerina, and she's posted this picture. I'm just gonna grab this. I'm not really gonna save this really truly um, to my dream vacations, but she actually lives in Laguna Beach and she has this fabulous, very nice picture. So I could say like, okay, this is could go in my dream vacation or whatever. So I'm gonna click on these three dots in the upper right of the post. Then you are gonna see here that you can save this post, okay? So again, you're gonna save it to a collection. So I'm gonna click on save post, and then I'm able to see here that I can save it to my dream travel. So now it's on my dream travel board, okay? So that is how you're gonna be just adding to your collections um, from Facebook as you're going around Facebook, okay? So back to saved, and those things, they move around, right? The saved. Uh, that bookmark thing on your control panel. It will move around. Sometimes it's in one spot. Sometimes it's in another. Okay. So the other cool thing about these um, boards is that people can follow them. Okay. People can actually follow your board. So if I go to dream travel and I click on um, copy link. Okay. And then I'm going to go create a post. And I don't really want anybody to see this right now, so I'm gonna make it only me, but normally I would make this public, right? So you can see it's kind of an ugly link, right? Um, so I'm gonna post my, my thing here. So now you can see that now my post shows up. Obviously, again, it's just to me, but if it was public, now here's what I want you to notice. See on the bottom, it says follow. It says follow, people can follow your boards, right? So I'm gonna click on follow and now I'm following this board. Guess what's gonna happen now? Anytime somebody follows one of my boards, they are going to get a notification. So when you make a board, you want to be adding to it often because you want people to constantly be coming back to your content, right? constantly be reminded that you are around, <laughs> that you are alive and well, right? So this is gonna be excellent for engagement. So you wanna, you wanna make some business boards, but you also wanna make some boards that are just fun, right? Just fun boards that people can follow. Again, 
people are going to, you know, every time you add something, like let's say you make funny memes or a quotes board, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll make a quotes board. Um, and I, every time I post a quote on Facebook, I can add it to my own quotes board. So then people that follow my quotes, right? Or I could even make one about butt kicking posts because I'm always writing butt kicking posts. <laughs> and the people can follow that. And every time I add something to that collection, they're going to be notified and it's going to be all my stuff. So you can do collections of your own posts or you can do collections um, that are curated from other people's posts. So you can do that either way. Now, the one drawback is that if I do, um, if I if my posts are made up of everybody else's posts, right, they're gonna be taken away from my, my things, right? Because if somebody opens up my dream travel board and they're like, oh, okay, this is cool. I wanna read about this easy mile long trail. So I'm gonna click here and boom, now it's taking me away from my Facebook page or me. Okay. Whereas if I had a collection that was only my posts, right? Only my things, then as people go down, they're just going to literally be looking and consuming my content, my content, my content, my content. Okay. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, so you may want to create a, create a album and then go through your own Facebook page and see what kinds of content you have that you can share to it. Okay. So if you've been posting a lot of quotes, I haven't been, um, so I probably will start. Um, but if you have all kinds of quotes, make a quotes board of your own stuff, right? So that way people are just seeing your stuff over and over and over again, if they open up that collection, right? Also, when you, um, save this to, or when you post this, you wanna make sure to instruct people to follow. So you always wanna add a call to action, right? So you can say, hey guys, check out this awesome collection I have of all the cool places that I would love to go. Um, make sure to click follow so you don't miss it if I add, add to it, right? So you wanna make sure that you're instructing people to click on follow because they might not, okay? So when you post, you always wanna give people a reason to follow it. Let people know you're gonna be updating it so you they don't wanna miss anything, right? We wanna instigate that FOMO. And then um, make sure that you ask them, you know, like very clearly, make sure to follow. Click the follow button. And you can even say comment below when you've followed my new board, okay? So this, you guys, seriously, the sky is the limit. I mean, we can get so creative with this and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and what kind of ideas you come up with to use this new Facebook feature. I'm so excited. So go out there and open up your saved stuff, start making some boards, start sharing them, and then keep us all posted. I'm excited.